rushed to well, the one guy get that going, but they just stopped. What was that? that? The one guy that I heard from Craigslist. Right. Like, I guess sometimes you could win, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Trisha just texted me, so we'll see. Oh, you already got the recording going. Yeah. Well, I figure we're talking about it. Might as well start, right? Heck yeah. Yes. That's yeah. That. Um, we need a prayer, too, don't we? Probably. Yeah. We should probably do that. Rex, do you want to offer that since you brought it up? Yeah, I was going to wait for Trish for a few seconds. Okay, let me see if she... How close was she? She just said, are we meeting tonight? And I said, yeah, did you not get the invite? So we'll see what... Oh, wait, she says no, she didn't. Okay. Okay, hold on. Rex, you really need to start texting, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here, though. I'm always I, here. Well, that's true. I know. It is. You're good. What, is there a reason you just don't like it or? I don't like it. You're, how old are your kids? Um, the oldest is what? Let's see. Make me think. <laughs> she was born in 94, so that makes her 23 this year. No, so she's my age then. Okay. Yeah. Does, do they, do they, does your wife text? No, we just didn't, we didn't pay for texting. Right, okay. If they wanted to text, they could use their iPods. Yeah. And do it for free. But yeah, it was going to cost like, I mean, we were on a plan that only had 700 minutes. Six phones, <laughs> 700 minutes. Wow. What? No texting. That's, you know? that's crazy. But most of you know, we use it cell to cell, and that's free. Yeah, that's true. Verizon plan. Yeah. I have to go Verizon because the other ones don't come in at the house for the day. So. Oh, right. Because you guys are out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we, in town, they got lots of options, but we're like three miles out and there's a hill and the Verizon <laughs> tower's on the hill. And <laughs> guess what? Yeah. Rent doesn't work, you know, and the other ones don't work. You go with Verizon and I didn't want to pay Verizon any more than I have to. That's true. They're expensive. It felt like they've been ralphing us for years, but you know. So do your kids all still live in town there or have they? Well, I got my daughter's in Lehigh right now doing her internship. Okay. So she can graduate. And then my two oldest boys are at BYU Idaho right now taking classes. And then I got two girls in high school. Okay. Very and the cool. baby died. So. I remember reading that in your yeah, 2005. So. Wow. That's crazy. He'd be 12 this year. Wow. Wow. How old was he when he passed away? Six days. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Whew. I bet that was tough. Or yeah, he passed away. We buried him. He passed away on Monday, I believe. We buried him on Saturday. And the house burnt down on Sunday. <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that the is... six days he lived, he was in the hospital all the time, yeah. hiding and everything. And so we lived over at the hospital for those six days. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, that's so sad. So I was just exhausted. And I was, that night after the funeral, like, I slept good. And then the next day I was out. And I was like, man, I'm going to sleep good again tonight. And, uh, Smelled. I was outside just finishing up some chores and smelled some tar like it, somebody's tar on a roof. Look up and see the roof's on fire. Oh my gosh. And I mean, I was ready to go in. So wow. luckily, I was out there just a few seconds longer. And uh, and I said, Hey, the house's on fire. I need to get out. Everybody grabbed their shoes and kids were in pajamas and they came running out. Watched. I got up there on the roof with a with a garden hose and tried to put out the fire. Got the roof wet, made the shingles wet, slipped off the roof, fell right between two steel posts I had up for wood. Oh my gosh! I could have been scared. <sighs> wow, okay. that is crazy. That is crazy. That is one tough week. Yeah. Oh. All the memorabilia and the sympathy cards and all that stuff had burned up. Wow. 
Because I mean, the blue roof was pretty good on fire. I mean, it had been burning for hours, I guess. Yeah. In the yeah. attic and stuff before it hit the roof line. <clears throat> but 10 minutes later, I could have been in and the house could have came down on top of us. Right. Wow. So you say, hey, we were blessed. Oh, gosh. That is an incredible way of looking at things. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. Everybody was safe. Everybody got out. Things can be rebuilt. So. Yeah. Mm. That's incredible. And ended up trading my brother some land for the the house my dad built, and I helped build, and and uh, so it turned out okay. Wow, it's a monster house too. Well, that's nice. Of yeah. all those kids, got somewhere to put them. I gutted the whole upstairs down to the studs, rewired, put in uh, fourteen hundred feet of hardwood floors, oh. new carpets. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Now, I still haven't gotten the molding down. <laughs> I don't like to do trim work. And that's been, yeah. well. My husband, yeah. Fun. We well, remodeled yeah. our house, and he still has all the trim work to do. I'm like, would you just get it done, please? Put in new windows. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. Was, well, uh, let's um, let's get started. I, I emailed Trish. I don't know what's happening. So. Okay. Well, I'll pray then. Okay. Our Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this time which we have to meet together as a group to discuss this case. And we ask that that will bless us that we might be able to convey the the things that we were thinking of and are trying to say in the best way possible. And we ask that that will bless us that we might be able to get knowledge and insight from others that are in the group. And we say this in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just jump into this here. So we are supposed to um, vote individually. How? What grade would you give the founders of Rent the Runway for their work in starting Rent the Runway? And then what specifically did you see as most effective? Where did the founders stumble? What should they have done differently? And does the order in which they took the specific actions matter? So Rex, you kind of already told us you would give them a B. Yep, close to B plus. Yeah. How about you, Ethan? Um, I would give them probably a B for like their implementation of finding people and like setting up the business. But for like their drive and their ability to learn, especially like learning from the like the fashion people in the industry, learning what they were looking for, I would give them an A. So somewhere mm -hmm. in that realm. Yeah, I agree. I think that they, I mean, I'm kind of like in the A minus category because I think that they, they learned and they adapted really quick. I thought that the way that they approached the designers was pretty ingenious. I mean, they said, you know, like if they're not 100% comfortable, we don't want their business. And I think that they, um, they, just, they quickly learned about things. The only thing that I that I read that I was like, oh, I feel like they've done it differently is their technology side of things. They just didn't seem to have the technology that they needed to back up their business plan. So I don't know why I went with like A minus is they just, I think that, you know, they, they did pretty good with the order of operations, I guess, is how they started setting up things, but they just didn't get the right people in place at the right time, I think. They should have started with a technology person to build their website and then kind of, I mean, I thought they did a good job getting their customer client people fairly quickly like that. I mean, they saw the they saw the urgency with that, but like they wanted to run this business online and yet they didn't invest in a good tech, technology person, so. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why I gave them a B is because of that whole thing. I like the, the developed a wonderful concept. They divided up their uh, different skills, you know, and said, hey, you're, you're good at this, you do this, you're good at this, you do this. That was fantastic, but mm -hmm. they just trusted that person from Harvard, their peer, and went with a company from Canada and did not check on everything. Next thing they know, they're ready to launch and they have no freaking website. Right, which I thought was kind of, I wonder why, like that was one of my questions I kept thinking. I kept thinking of why did they let the technology side 
go to the wayside. I just like their whole their whole model was getting people to rent things from off, from off the website, but yet they just didn't focus yeah. on technology. I just didn't and understand. They were going to a and water store. This was going to be a web based store. And right. You just. I mean, that's 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 the backbone of the whole thing. Right. So, just, that's, that's why I was harsh. I yeah, said, you know, I, I think they were just G plus, but because they had no experience, so they're really good, but, but man, you just can't, you know, and, and you know, they should have checked, checked with the development or, or hired somebody to check, you know, mm -hmm. hired that guy from Craigslist and have him check, to see how they're doing. You know, it didn't last very long. Right. Um, they didn't, that was a key point, you know, and, you know, when you're launching with, when you're, when you're thinking things are okay with your your website, if it's 20, it works twenty percent correctly, that's not good. No. Yeah, I think that it was probably just a case of them biting off more than they could chew. Because I mean, like, it seemed like they just jumped into it without a whole lot of thought after the initial idea. Like they just kind of jumped into it. Oh well, they had a lot of thought. It's just not investing enough time in the technology. I think. Because they, they like, like Jordan said, they adapted really quick. Yeah, true. When they made a mistake, man. They were, but not on the technology yeah. side. They like it took them. I wrote down like the uh, the timeline. It took them. They hired their first web designer in February. They didn't get the guy on board that actually helped them launch it until November. So it took them ten months, nine months, to finally get somebody in there that could actually read the code. So they adapted quickly for everything but technology. Like they just didn't. I just, I just don't understand it. It just blows my mind. I just kept thinking, gosh, eleven, ten months, and that is the premise of your whole of your whole business, business. is running it online. Yeah, your yeah, online yeah, business. Because it's just too much at once, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think so too. I think that they that's, just that's why out. justified my B was, you know. That's, yeah. That's right. And yeah. you know, yeah. but you know, like um going to the going to the designers, they figured that out real quick. This ain't gonna work. Yeah. They mm -hmm. don't waste no more time with that. Boom, nope. They don't right. want you know. I think they, they had such a good idea of what they wanted to do. I just don't think they knew how to execute it. They just and yeah, didn't. you know, they ended up getting a good deal from the designers. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that was a good thing. Yeah. Hi, Patricia. Yeah. I don't know if she can hear. Can you hear us, Trisha? Your mic is off. My camera won't work. Your mic's not working. <laughs> you can't find a comfortable spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, man. You need like a pillow or something, Ethan. Bring your sleeping bag in there. <laughs> I'm in the process of getting a house. Uh, it's oh, like, good. like I said, it's like raining and snowing and crap here. And it's just like housing is expensive and I would be in a house right now um, because like I had no intention of doing school while living in my truck. It was just like a summer work thing. Yeah. But then my roommate and I got kicked out by our other roommate for this fall, like last minute. What? And housing is so expensive up here that it's like, we're just trying to find wow. a place. Oh. Did your other roommate stay up there with you or did he bail? Um, so my other roommate, uh, yeah, he's going to be, he's actually at campus right now in Rexburg. So he's going to be coming over here in December. Oh, okay. So a couple of us in the singles branch are trying to find a place to stay. That is crazy. But yeah, season's, oh. season's getting late though. That is like yikes. Because right now, isn't it like high tourist season there? Uh, no, not right now. Not yet. It, well, it has been. Like the eclipse came through here. Right. Technology. And uh, then like Jackson Hole traffic is always super busy. Like between like June and September. Oh, okay. But I mean, last last year at this time, we had tons of snow. Um, people were skiing the pass in early October. That is crazy. 
And yeah, so I, th I think it might be another winter like that, maybe. Mm -hmm. early, early snow, but it makes good, good skiing though. So, well, yeah. hurry up and find a house. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can watch you like bundled up in your <laughs> truck every week. <laughs> like, just come stay at my house, you poor kid. <laughs> Oh, okay. So nice in Arizona, I bet. Uh, it is. I mean, it's still. I mean, it, it's nice to me. It was ninety-four today, and I. It was really nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, when the fall is coming. So it's nice. We, we had issues with the van. Today. Mm -hmm. Last Saturday, my wife was over in Ontario, Oregon, and the window on the van just kind of dropped down because the motor busted or something the, the mm. little the real or upper thing or whatever they're they're like cables and a little plastic piece is supposed to hold us a certain distance and busted and the thing went crashing down so i just got, I just duct taped the window up <laughs> so we duct it i duct taped it up and today the duct tape gave way and oh no shattered the window all over and the mo the whole motor and everything came today Oh. Yeah, that worked out real nice. Yeah, that's crazy. So tomorrow I'm going to the salvage yard to get a window. Get you a window. That's good. Because it All was right. about 50 degrees on the way in here. Oh, that was crazy. Mm -mm. I am not a, 45. I am not a cold weather person. Well, it's not. like Greg's weather where it's like freezing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so if we go on to have the founders of RTR validated their business model, I have to get my phone real quick. Hold on, you guys talk amongst okay. yourself. Where'd Trish go? I don't know. I'm I think. Off. Oh, she's reloading. Uh. Sorry, guys, I'm having like some major, major technical issues tonight. Hey. Oh, that's frustrating. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm here. Yay. <laughs> hey, you're so, logged in twice. That's awesome. I know. Isn't that awesome? One of the um, devices I'm logged in on is actually turned completely off. <laughs> yeah, I can't turn on my camera. It won't turn on. Nice. For my video, um, I tried to turn it on. It wouldn't turn on. It says Google's not recognizing my camera. Hangout does not detect a camera connected to your computer. Without a camera, other participants won't be able to see you. Like, but what would we do without your happy, smiling face? That's right. I'm trying to get it up there, man. <laughs> got to look at my baby picture. And, hey. oh, it's pretty darn cute, though. Yeah. Got to say. That's, that's the kid grandma called the baby elephant. <laughs> I weighed 10 pounds, 4 ounces when I was born. Oh, goodness. About three months, grandma was holding me. She said, this kid's just like a baby elephant. <laughs> I gained weight. I didn't lose any weight from the get-go. Cool. Okay, so Sorry. Went over, what grade would you give them? The the uh, founders of Rent the Runway. I think they did an amazing job. Um, they made some, some key mistakes, but just the way they were willing to pivot and, and kind of design the business the way that it would work best and kind of leave their egos, you know, check them at the door. And not having any experience in the field. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Pretty That's what really amazed me, but mm -hmm. I still only gave them a B because of that web design stuff, the whole mess up with that. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Oh, they got it's just the, so chaotic constantly. I mean, I was I was close giving them B plus, but so it's right in there. It was close, but mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, but the web is the whole backbone to the, the business. It is. I mean, they're not brick and mortar, they're their web. So. Yep. Anyway. Jordan gave me my she liked like their stuff. I did. Have, I have no problem with that either. Like, like Trish just said, they, they were willing to pivot real quick. 
Yeah. And we kind of brought up that we didn't use the word pivot, but yeah, they were. We did say they learned from their mistakes real quick and didn't seem to repeat them. Mm -hmm. for the web design. Craigslist yeah. guy didn't work. The guys in Canada didn't work. The Indian company, the coding wasn't quite right. They finally mm -hmm. got ready to change the coding and if it worked twenty percent, they still went with it. They didn't change it, but they were writing code like crazy. Mm -hmm. I can only oh, imagine so what a nightmare gone. that was. Oh yeah. I just yeah. my mouth dropped when it's like twenty percent, and they said that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. It works twenty percent. That's good enough. I'm like, seriously. Yeah. I think I should never handle that. Cool. Yeah. So should we move on to number four? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what are the key elements of the business model? Well, it seems like the key elements are like uh, rent dresses for 10 to 15% of the retail price. And uh, I'm not really sure what else. Like, I, I didn't really understand this question too well, actually. So I went and looked up what the CVP, the GTM, TOM, and CFF were that they listed in there because I wasn't sure what it was either. So um, rent by CFF. Yeah. The what? I never did find CFF. Um, I I found it. I think it means cash flow forecasting. Oh, I thought it was customer feedback form. Yeah, I I could be wrong because there wasn't a specific like I looked at business plans and business models and there was never a CFF. Um, so it just made more sense to me because they didn't have anything about like financing and and making money. Um, as far as far as like the CVP, GTM, and TOM. And so yeah, that's that, why I thought it was cash flow. I'm sure you're probably right. But um, so the CVP was the, was the customer value proposition, which means to describe why a customer should buy. And I think they were very specific about that. They wanted to be able to bring high fashion designs to people that ordinarily wouldn't buy, buy a, high, a high design. And so that's that's why I, I thought they did a good job with that. And then the GTM was go to market strategy, which is how a company will reach customers and achieve a competitive advantage. I think that that's where they struggled a little bit because the technology side was not there. Right. Right. But they, they had to figure out what they wanted to do. They just, so, yeah, yeah. I mean. They just didn't follow up with the the firm in Canada that they had hired to do it, and so what was TOM? Um, yeah. TOM is target operating model, which is the strategy or vision to business. Which again, they had a great vision. They knew what they wanted to do. They just didn't execute it. Ever since Jen seen her sister wanting to buy, mm -hmm. not dressed to wear one evening. Right. I mean, they, they knew, she knew exactly what she was doing. She just didn't, they just didn't plan very good. I think they may have been trying to rush it a little bit too much. I mean, it went from just the beginning concept to release date in less than a year. Right. And for something with this magnitude where you have to get, um, you're, you're introducing an entirely new business model and getting designers on board, and then also the technical side of it. I think they they did try to go a little bit too fast. Mm -hmm. Well, which is, why, which is why I find it ironic that now they're trying to decide if they should keep going fast or slow down. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's so, yeah. Ironic is such a good way to put it because it, it totally is ironic. Like they they know they went too fast, but yet they see. I think they're so caught up in the fact that they have such a good idea. And, and they just, I just don't think they have the people in place or the processes in place to really drive it forward. These ladies are go, go, go to ladies, man. Mm -hmm. Both have succeeded in before they started the business, mm -hmm. both highly educated, very successful. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So with going into number five, then did you guys figure out how many times a dress needs to be rented? I came out with 3.83 to 4 times. I got I got eight times. Oh, 
Falcons. Ethan, did you calculate anything? Um, I'm look I did calculate some stuff, but I'm looking back on the thing right now. Uh, just to check it out again. I because could I saw that they made about fifty nine dollars of profit from each time that they rented a dress. Mm -hmm. And so I put in a calculation like with how much they were making like in those two months potentially. And like if they were I was just trying to see like how well they were doing in those first two months. They got fifty nine divided by like, keep on growing or whether you got fifty nine divided yeah. by what? Rex? So you need to multiply that by two because they're sending two dresses per rental. They're sending the second dress for free. Uh, oh, I didn't. I forgot about that. Yeah. So yeah. in your in your I number, you off automatically. automatically. It's like, yeah. Okay. That'll make things all the difference. I didn't even think about that. I just figured out. Oh, you got the dress, you pay for one dress, you're renting out the dress, 59 bucks. Because right. I changed that too. I, I intentionally changed it too. It's like, I don't want that four four fifty two up there. Right, right. Because it costs, I mean, so because they're not charging for that second dress, so they have That's, to that is correct. Yeah. But I thought that might be figured in the calculations too, because you know, for 25 bucks extra, you can have another dress. Right, and that would be your third dress. And so then I started thinking, well, do I need to add that 25 into it? And then I went back and rewatched the rental video that they posted. And I was like, aha, uh -huh, yes. It's just put in by two. And I yep. actually rounded that break even point up. It, it's like seven point something. But seven, because, six, six. yeah, but I was like, you don't rent a dress 7.66 times. You rent it. But then I come up with an annual profit of like minus twenty seven dollars, and so then my numbers. I was so confused with my numbers. I kept thinking they, they're saying that they need to expand because they don't have enough inventory, but only sixty percent of their dresses were being rented within that two month period. So I I sat I seriously sat back and kept thinking about how. How do they prove that their model is working if they're still losing money annually? See, I came up with money. Did you? What did you put in for? Did you put a thousand dresses in inventory? I put a thousand dresses in inventory, two thousand rentals in the first two months. Okay, how did you find two thousand rentals? Well, they said they had two thousand. Yeah, they did. They said they had two thousand contracts already. Uh, 2,000 orders. By, by then, I started receiving 2,000 orders and I registered more than 150,000 members. Although the site had only been up live for just two months, I already had 12.5% of the customers that okay. ordered more than once. Because I used, I used it where it said that they only rented 60% of their inventory. But. It said on well, average also, during the period they had sixty percent of their inventory rented. Is the way I read yeah. that. Okay, say so how, how did you read that again? Sorry. It says on average during the period sixty percent of RTR's dress inventory was out for rental. Not that they not that they had rented sixty percent. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So you changed so you did two thousand as the number of rented. Rentals for the first two months is what I put in my my little spreadsheet. Okay. And two thousand number of dresses in inventory, thousand. Average rentals per month would be two. Estimated annual utilization would be twenty four. Nine hundred sixty four dollars. Okay, hold on a second. Let me change that. That I say, I was not making sense to me. I'm like, why is this not working? Because I I thought I was gonna have to use that sixty, and I'm like, wait, wait, this is this is misleading information. I okay. I've that before. Okay, so you got nine hundred and sixty-four as yep. your annual profit. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Then then we're good. Okay, that makes more sense. I just couldn't. I was sitting there. I'm like, this does not make sense. Why does it not make sense? Thank you. Well, you helped me with the other though. I didn't think about the two dresses being out. I was just thinking, hey, dress costs one hundred twenty-six bucks. Why would you times it by two? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's just silly, man. It's silly. 
and the it's like, yeah, they did. They sent one out with another size, same dress with two sizes to mm -hmm. make sure they would fit. But that's why they wanted the 5,000 dresses because well, the average having 60% of their dresses out any given time. Right, right. Not time. So that's why you'd need more dress to boost the dresses to 5,000 April. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that and it can, that can cause like some pretty big issues if you have one or two popular dresses that people can never get a hold of. Then you want you need to have backups for those, or else see, you're going to start losing customers. And that's why I think if we talk, if we go into talking about if they should, if we go into number six, then in that in that kind of moving in that direction is, do you think that they should? scale quickly or or keep working on their op operational efficiencies i definitely think they need to stop and work on their their efficiencies i think that goes into play like getting more dresses in an inventory they need to really look at their their analytics and see what dresses are renting more which and and build up a stockpile of those so that they don't run into customer delays because that's just going to fuel more competition like somebody let's say a a customers upset because they didn't get the dress they wanted what's stopping them from going and doing the same thing and doing it better mm -hmm. you know and that's what they said in the case like if this is hugely successful people are going to copycat them and so they had to they had to make themselves like be a leader in the pack knowing that people were going to try to duplicate it and so they really need to spend time getting their operationals functioning they need to work on their their warehousing they need to work on their um, order system and all of that. So I don't, I don't think that they, I think that they need to stop and stay where they're at and work on their operational side. That's, That's my vote. Yeah, same here. That's well, another, vote. another thing to consider is a lot of the labor that they're using right now is unpaid interns. Right. That's not sustainable. Mm -mm. I didn't it, even think about that. That's yeah. a good point. You can get an intern to work for you for free for a few months, right? but then they're either going to learn what they, they need to learn or they're going to decide, hey, you know what? I actually like eating every day, so I need to get right. a job that pays. Right. Okay, so first, do you say stop? You know, at first, when I, I first read over it, I was thinking, no, they, they need to go forward because if you look at the time frame that they released it, this was during holiday season, when everybody wants those formal dresses for the, the Christmas and New Year's party. And I'm like, that's not sustainable throughout the year. They're not gonna have the same type of uh, rental rates. But then after looking at the numbers and, and just kind of some of the issues they've had, I agree they do need to just kind of slow down a little bit. Maybe not completely stop, but definitely slow down and make sure that they're they're shoring up their weak spots they need to take a step back and say okay where do we need to improve what can we do and then okay now let's add some accessories okay now let's add maternity and, and things like that mm. yeah. okay so i'm the only one that says yes they should what you think they should move on oh yeah, heck yeah. how come because that's the way they operate yeah but don't you think that they Okay. You get, you get more, Ethan, what do you, hold up. What does Ethan think? Scale, and you can afford to buy, pay those interns, build your business as you're going. But if you sit there and wait on it, you give other people a footing to get in there and start building right along with you. But if you can jump out and just stomp everybody in the marketplace, first to market, mm -hmm. you could really do some serious damage to anybody that would want to try to come in to compete against you. That cash, well, I think cash makes a lot of problems go away. Yeah, but they have to go out and get yeah. they have to go and get funding. And I don't think I mean, yeah, they have a really good they have a really good revenue right now. But again, like Trisha said, we were only looking at the two, first two months. Things are going to slow down. So will they be able to sustain that that level of inventory and that level of revenue over the yeah. over the well, course really of the yeah. next twelve months? Who knows? They I mean, might she, not because she, then more she, people she know who they are. What was that, Ethan? I said, who knows? Because maybe after like their first two months, they're going to have more recognition from like a broader customer base. Mm -hmm. And then maybe that will compensate for not having the holiday season around. Mm -hmm. So do you think they should move on or do you think that they should slow down? No, I think that they should get their feet under them. Mm -hmm. I think that if they do anything more than that, I think they should uh, 
maybe do some more testing with like some of the maternity stuff or some of the uh, accessory stuff. But definitely their priority should be to get their feet under them and just really make themselves a well-oiled machine mm -hmm. so that when they do go big, they're not fighting a bunch of fires all the time. Because fires are going to be inevitable, but if you don't like control the fires at first, then they're just going to be like, out of control. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they don't have their technology. I mean, 20%, if it was working, let's move on. Like, they've, if they're going to grow well, that's all... by now, you would figure you think so? I mean, that was just launching. To launch it, he launched it with twenty percent. But that's that guy's got to be doing something. He's not going to just sit on his hands for the next few months. That's his job. That's all he's supposed to worry about is making sure the web works, the web-based business works. Plus, their venture capitalists that gave him the money, helped them earn one point seven five million dollars. What did he say? Scale up. Yeah, I'm not convinced. That is <laughs> People are getting money. You want to keep them happy because he has better knowledge in this than you do. Because normally venture capital, especially and ones that include angel funds, these guys are good in the business. They only normally um, invest in businesses they know. Hmm. So that was okay. Great so my decision. What if they what if they like met in the middle and said we're gonna test a small we're gonna we're gonna increase our inventory because they know they need to do that they need to yeah, increase right. their inventory and they can't increase their inventory without funds they, gotta they, they funds. have funds they're making money they don't need to go raise more capital to get more dresses not if you want to scale up man uh, you more dresses. You take yeah, that, that five thousand dresses to fifty thousand. You're going to need funds. Well, yeah, but that's why you go slow. I don't know. I I don't know. I think that they should just. And if you want to get into the maternity part of it first, you better be scaling. If you want to get into renting out shoes and selling nylons, you better be selling. I mean, scaling up. I, I mean, definitely think they need to add accessories. Come in and say, hey, or or those other two. That, they thought might be their competition. They see what you're doing. They're saying, "Shoot, I'm gonna do that." Well, they definitely need to make sure that they set themselves apart. I think that they need to add stuff in slowly, as they as they get their operational side. But these people, that's all they've done. They've just they launched the thing. The site wasn't ready, and they just they had tremendous success. One hundred fifty thousand. They only sent out five thousand invitations. I know it's crazy. I agree. I agree that they are phenomenal. Well, I, think I actually haven't looked up to see how they how they're doing because I'm sure they're doing really well. They are. They're doing really well. I looked at their website today because I was curious too. Oh, they God, are they scaled up. They are doing um, accessories and maternity, but I didn't see shoes. And they are doing. Um, you can buy the stuff now too. You don't just have to rent it. But they also have casual wear. Though. Yeah, they have casual wear. What was that, Ethan? I wonder how long that's been offered because it's 2017 now and this is like back in 2009. So, I mean, given like even a few months to get their feet under them and like just get solid, I mean, it would help their base so much so that they could build like their peak much, much higher. Mm -hmm. That's that's, like, that's kind of what I'm, oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't give you that option, does it? It's either scale up now or you build it up. Well, here's you know, what, here's what I think. Yeah. If that's they take, yeah, if they take just two or three months mm -hmm. to just really get it, dig in and make sure the website's up to par, because if they want to scale up, they've got to fix that website. Because that's going to take you at least um, two months probably to get financing done. Yeah, if yeah, if more. you don't have a website that can handle the additional traffic, I mean, I've I've worked with companies that scale up and then they have the website that crashes. Then that's just a whole nother nightmare. So that's if they're wanting to scale up, you can scale up, hire more people. Yeah. Buy those interns. Yeah. So I think taking a couple of months to kind of give them a dress to work with. So. Yeah, Trisha, I'm with you. I think yeah. I think they because they learn so fast. A couple months will be like years to other people in the business world. I think that they are such good learners that they look back on the past eight months, 10 months and be like, okay, this is where we made a mistake. Let's fix that. And then let's scale. Yeah, I don't I think, think they need a year. I think they need a couple of months. Oh, so no. this is, yeah. I think our choice is 
set and develop, it's going to be like years of set and develop. Is kind of the way I read the difference in choices. Either you set no, and develop if they're looking at, or you scale up. Yeah, because if they're looking at years, then there's no way. Uh-uh. That yeah, would totally I, stop it. I agree with that. Yeah, if they're... I don't think that they were meaning years, though. I honestly think they, they were. Well, I'm thinking they're meaning at least a year because normally that's what you do. You have your your year meeting and say, okay, well, what's our goal? What we're going to do? That's it's not, not, that's it's not like a two month goal. You know, it's not like, well, let's, let's see what we do for the next two months. Okay. So did Rex convince us that they need to move? Quickly, because their whole business plan that they had originally was to do it really slowly, develop really slowly. They had the whole year planned out, and now they're two months in. They're saying, well, "What should we do? Do we stick with our business plan and, and build it slowly for the next year?" Because Dennis say, "I don't here." I don't, I, I don't see a time frame in here. No, I don't, I don't see, see a time frame in here. Something like that. Yeah. Where did I see that? I think that they should try and stay more conservative, but. Holy crash, let's see. I want to say it's right here on the first page. I can't read today without my reading glasses. So it says Fleissen Hyman had planned to grow R to R at a measured pace during 2010 while pursuing operational improvements that would move the company towards cash flow break even. Um, then they would be well positioned to raise early funds in 2011. They would have ample funds available to cover the budget of inventory and the headcount growth if it followed that plan. So it sounds like they're talking about throughout the year. Yep. yep. But yeah. And Where I don't think they need that long. I think they've been flying by the seat of their pants and just keep going. Do it now. Okay, so, so are we then, are we considering then that, that the case is, is indicating that they're going to extend it over the period of a year? I say we give them a third option. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, say we can't. Yeah, nothing's nothing's not saying, but I, just, I just figured, hey, it's either you're going to set and wait for a year before you scale up, or are you going to scale up now? Well, a year is a long time in business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A long time a, to give other a, a chance to get their feet in the door. So I vote, if we're going to do our summary, I vote that we give a third option of <laughs> taking three months to reconsider and reevaluate their business operational side, get that in plan, and then go secure more funding and why would I see their pants after that? That's I, my vote. I vote the same. I think I agree. a little bit of time. Yep. And if you look at the timing of it too, that's when the spring fashions are coming out. Mm -hmm. So that's Ooh. that would be the perfect time to launch those new fashions and maybe even a new line. I, I still don't like that. Good. I think they need to do it now because it's going to take a couple months for them to get the funding. And if you had the funding when those spring lines came out, you could buy oh. oh, you know these two, they don't stop while they get funding. <laughs> right, I was going to say, why do they have to stop while they're waiting for funding? Why couldn't they start applying for funding while they're working on their operational side to be doing, like, apply for the well, funding? That would be, be, be the option of scaling up then. Mm, no, because th I still think they have to. Th making that decision, that's, that's, the, that's the way I understand it. The scaling up is you go for funding now or you go for funding later. A year later. Mm, I like my for, third option. You go for funding in 2010 or you go for funding in 2011. All right. Well, I've got to get out of here pretty soon. So I'm going to leave my vote at the, uh, the third, third option. <laughs> there you go. I agree. I, I'm i going third option. I'll go with you still up still. All right. Well, too bad we can't convince you, Rex. Because I don't think they're oh, well. going to give us the third option. I, I mean, they didn't give us that third option. No, they didn't. But, but okay, so in my... I like the third option. I in my like write-up, in my write-up for last week, he already gave me my grade. He said that we could come up with different questions and different things. It doesn't have to be specifically what they say. 
So they have the freedom to create as much as they want. Mm -hmm. So they can do anything. Yeah. So that should mean that we can come up with anything. All right, well. I agree. Yep. Yeah. I think as, as long long as... still the option to scale up in yeah. 2010. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to continue this debate? It's so intense. Uh, no, I've got to wake up and, and uh, bake. So. All right. Well, All right. thanks so much. Happy and do the do the scale up now. All right. So, All right. Good night, uh, Ethan. We'll see you Ethan. Sleep good. Uh, yeah, Tuesday, same time. Tuesday, Tuesday at seven thirty. Okay. okay. Sounds good. All right. See you guys. So, are the rest of us done arguing? Oh yeah. I mean, I think oh, we're not arguing. We're discussing. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree with you guys, but I'm just figuring. You know, you're talking about scaling up in 2010. That's what I'm talking about. I, I think yeah. we're saying yeah. the same thing, just different ways. Just different time. Yeah, yeah just different time frames. Because I think while well, they're they're getting that money um, raised. They're going to be fixing things, and I'm sure they're going to add more customers. Oh yeah, well they are adding more customers on a daily basis. So yeah, and so I'm yeah. thinking the quicker you can get some money to hire more people, right? Well, no, I, but they still have money though. That's the thing. They, I mean, what Trisha just read to us is that they had enough money um, to uh, to to get more. What did it say, Trisha, to get more people and inventory, right? Yeah, the, to get the staffing in place that they needed. Um, where was it? What page was that on? First page. That's the first page. Oh, the first page, okay. It's, it's their second last Second page. Oh, okay, yeah, so they have money to grow. And maybe, in, mm -hmm. because they're saying that that money was going to take them through spring of 2011. So if they if they still get all the inventory, maybe that money that they have only takes them through like June, which gives them enough time to get their operational and get more funding. But the way I read it was that's what their their plan was that they would have enough money if they followed their plan, but they haven't been following their plan. They went from eight hundred dresses to a thousand dresses before they even launched, and then they went to. Five thousand dresses. Five thousand dresses. True, but they they also didn't figure on how successful it would be. So I think they're making more money than mm -hmm. they thought they would too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm still voting option C. Okay, if if we want to do option C, I don't think it's the option they want to give us. But <laughs> I have no problem with them waiting a month or two. I just figure the, the longer the wait, the worse it's going to be. With competitors, copycat and yeah. rat dogs. One, one of the things that they had talked about in the case study was getting um, exclusivity deals with some of the designers. Right. So I think that's something that they they really need to focus on, and then it'll make it a lot harder for somebody to come in and compete with them. Right. And right. You get those by scaling up too. Yeah. Get those. The bigger you are. The bigger, bigger uh, companies tend to get the better treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, it's I the old we... first to market theory, you know, syndrome mm -hmm. that you learn right. about in business. But a lot of times, first to market doesn't turn out. I found that out in some of these case studies. Right. Right. If your first to market doesn't mean yep. you're going to be successful. Yeah. It just might mean you make all the mistakes for everybody else. You guys are talking yeah. about building infrastructure, and I, I, I felt that way too, that their infrastructure could be built, but I, I just figured it sounded like they want to scale this year or next year. And so, so I'm for option number three too. All right, we convinced him. I thought the uh, infrastructure needed help, but you know, the whole point was to scale in 2010. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think my hesitation is I've worked for some, some companies that their motto is ready, fire, aim. 
and it always comes back to bite you in the butt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these, so, these right. they ready fire aim already, you know. They do. Earth would launch a company if some of the parts of their web was only working at 20% efficient. I don't think they had a choice. I don't think they had a choice at that point because they had those 5,000 people already lined up ready to go. I think, I mean, they, they yeah, luckily, I think if you, luckily, they were lucky that it worked, lucky. but, mm -hmm. you know. Well, we I, a I choice. Mean, you always have a choice. You don't have to send out the emails. You can say, hey, it's going to be two weeks later. Yeah. But, like you said, it's holiday season. Mm hmm a lot of money be made during the holiday season. Yeah. That there is. That's like for anyone in the entertainment or service industry, that's, you know, your bread and butter right there. Are you sure it's not ice cubes? Now, the other thing you got to wonder about is like um, special events. Um, you know, they want to get into proms and all that stuff. That's all I think. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh man, can you imagine what their their revenue would be for prom season? Oh, I know. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. So I, I mean, I they definitely need to get that inventory up and running, but their op their operations have to be solid. They have to be solid, otherwise they will fall. I really believe that if they don't get it, they were lucky. They were really lucky that things that things worked out the way they did. I that they can't keep going on luck. They've well, one of those was they were, they were first to market, I think. Mm -hmm. They had a clever idea. They're first to market. They could, yeah. they could afford to make mistakes, but they quickly corrected their mistakes. They did. They did. Yeah, they, did. they were they were very very uh, willing to listen to feedback. Mm -hmm. I mean, they completely changed their entire business model based on the feedback that they got from the designers. Right. right. And and they did that within just two months. You know, right. they would just take meetings with anybody that would talk to them and, and just pick their brains and what do you want? And that's what, I don't know if you guys remember um, B383. That's like what that whole thing was about. That entire semester of hell was about, <laughs> it was. <laughs> yes. It was about learning to listen to what you're, what people want. I never right? went that route, so I didn't have B383. Oh my gosh, it was hell. What is that class? Huh? Three, three? Yeah. Well, entrepreneurship oh, class. Oh, I'm taking that one right now. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wait, what class is it? B three eighty three? Oh no, I'm not taking that one. Just kidding. This is four eighty three. Yeah, this is four eighty three. That's this, I'm is, this is entrepreneurship management, which I thought sounded funner. Maybe I didn't take that class. Three eighty. Um, no. I took B B four four seventy five ventures. Oh, okay, that's what I'm taking. Financing right new now. ventures. Okay. Yeah, that's okay, if different. I had known there was a way around that one, I would have taken it. Holy that cow. Was brutal. That class is brutal. Is it? I'm taking that one right now. Well, if you got people working in your group, that's good. If you I do. Group. We have a really good group. We have a really good group. We, oh, had, we had five in the group, and normally two of us showed up every week. No, no, we, mm -hmm. have a, we have a really good group. We just met last night for the first time. That was the group I was calling. I meant to call it, so I'm calling you guys. So. Our first, uh, <laughs> Awesome. Our business plan section mm -hmm. was like four pages long because me and the one guy, we showed up. Nobody else showed up with mm -hmm. their parts that they were supposed to do. Oh, no. We were hacking it out on Saturday, so we could turn something in. We had our parts done, but nobody else had theirs done. That was, that was me last semester. I was literally the only one in the group sometimes. Oh, that's not good. It's just, oh, oh. I hated that group. Yeah, that's not good. Three of the people had already checked out because they were like, this is my last semester. I'm just not doing anything. I'm doing the absolute bare minimum. Oh, that's not good. And they said that every single group meeting. I was like, do you have any idea how discouraging that is that you right. just don't care? But you also don't want to narc on them and tell the instructor, hey, you know, I need a different group. Cause oh, <laughs> right? we did. After the peer review, mm -hmm. after that section, he flat out did a video podcast for the whole class. And so you think you're going to be able to just coast in these groups without putting in effort? Your grade will be adjusted. Oh, good. Well, your awesome. period. And then they start working. Mm. Well, so we ended up with like a 44-page business plan. Whoa. Oh, wow. And the instructor's nice. like, this is too long. Where before you say it, it was too short. <laughs> That's intense. 
but, but I'm not going to tell it too much against you. Like, oh, that's awful nice of you. Yeah. 